Welcome back everybody. So today is the day we launched the brand new Blackstone pizza oven with cart. That is right. Let me just put a fresh dough pizza in there and I'll tell you about it. So if you want to watch something really in depth, go to Blackstone's Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Blackstone products. I've been cooking on Blackstone griddles for a decade. 10 years ago, Blackstone came out with a standalone pizza oven. They called it the patio oven. It worked very well. Five years ago, they took it off the market because griddles were and still are the hottest thing in all of outdoor cooking and all the time was consumed with that. About nine months ago, Blackstone came out with the 22 inch pizza oven attachment. You're basically converting your 22 inch griddle to a pizza oven works very well. But at that time, I told you this was an introductory item into Blackstone's delving back into the world of pizza ovens. I said, it's not the end all, and there's more coming and it came today. So you can buy these at blackstoneproducts.com. Introductory price, 799 bucks. They're a thousand dollars normally, they have them for 799 bucks. They come with, check this out, this is kind of cool. They come with a pizza peel. And one of the neat new features is there's a pizza peel sleeve on the side of the brand new pizza oven. Okay, so you can store it over there. Now I got us a little fresh dough thin crust pizza in there. Check it out, I'm using that semolina flour. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this, what sets it apart from the previous version and from the smaller tabletop attachment. Okay, if you look at it, it's aesthetically beautiful. I don't know if we can zoom in close enough, but you can check it out. We have a new paint job for starters, right? And it's a metallic sparkly paint job. Show the cheese in there, Kim. Show the flame and the cheese, there we go. Kim's helped me out behind the camera today, folks. We're gonna pull that out. So there's our pizza, thin crust, look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, cooked and ready to go. We're gonna set that aside on my cutting board, okay? And go over some of the key features on the pizza oven. So there's a rotating stone. There's a new technology with this one. They used cast iron and a two metal technology to cut down on the sound. So it's a very, very quiet rotating stone. That operates on 2D batteries. Today I'm running 2D batteries on there, or you can run it off of electric. I never used electric much in the previous version. Um, the batteries worked for a couple of years, so take that for what it's worth. Worth. Uh, there is two stones in here, so if we go down, you can see the bottom stone and the top stone. Okay, so it's a dual stone technology. Show the top stone way up in there. Tilt the camera. There we go, Kim. And then you can see the flame too. That's actually a good view right now with the sun going down. There's double wall construction. So the previous model just had sheet metal on top. This is like a double wall construction. It contains heat. Um, it's uh, stainless inside. The box is stainless, so it's easy to clean. There's a new Sure Start uh, lighting technology here that actually has a thermal couple in it. And so you have to hold it, it has to heat up to um, a certain temperature for a few seconds before you turn it on. That way you can avoid that blowback, you know, uh, or a puff of flames that you would get with other brands. Other things that set this apart, there is a temperature gauge. But Blackstone does give you some flexibility, a little bit of leeway. Just like with griddling, I'm not gonna tell you how warm to have your griddle top to cook a burger. Same thing with pizza. So this can maintain a temperature of anywhere between 100 degrees on the low end to all the way up to 900, almost 1,000 degrees on the other end. Most people that are cooking fresh dough pizzas are cooking them at 600 to 900 degrees-ish, somewhere in there. Uh, so we have a little gauge in the middle that lets you know, hey, if you're in that orange, that's, you know, that's your general good area to cook a pizza. The rotating stone, very easy to turn off and on. This is the battery compartment here. You put the battery in there for the ignition. So in addition to the um, temperature control, come around back, this is really cool. Blackstone, just like the original one, Blackstone put an adjustable regulator on here. So you can actually turn the gas flow up as high as you want if you want to attain a higher temperature, or you can turn it down. You can see how, unlike the first version, the propane canister is sort of hidden in here. See, the cabinet's all been redesigned you can see there's really cool venting on the side a new shape here's that pizza pill holder that i showed you earlier i realized i probably skipped by too fast for kim to catch it on the camera we have handles on the side we have upgraded legs here there are four locking casters 
The original one had two, you know, cheaper wheels and then two mid-grade locking caster. Well, these are four really nice top of the line locking caster. Uh, people ask what this is. It's a safety regulation. You know, it's to put a match in there if you have to light it. Uh, the regulatory agencies just require that, okay? Um, it does come with a little cover. Somebody asked me in the live stream, it has semolina flour. If you can cook with this on, you don't want to do that. Um, again, you can easily get up close to a thousand degrees with this open. You would never want to put this on there because it would be dangerous cooking temperatures. You could probably get up, you know, 1500, 2000, way too dangerous. So this is for storage, you know, when you're, when you have it and you're not using it, you can put that up there and keep the creep crawlies or keep a snow drift from going inside of your griddle top. So here's the pizza over here. We'll cut it up real quick. A thin crust cheese pizza. Got one of Blackstone's Pizza Rockers. My first time using this today, by the way. They've had that at Blackstone's website for a while. And again, if you want to watch my live stream, you go out to Blackstone's Facebook, you'll see me cooking. I think we cooked five or six different kinds of pizzas. Even did a deep dish as well. We did some of the take and bake pizzas. And there we go. Somebody in the live stream asked me about the crust. You can kind of get it how you want. That's how I like mine. I like accents of burning, you know, black and yellow and brown, but I don't like mine overly crispy. So that's how I want my pizza to look. And this is Blackstone's brand new uh, pizza oven with cart. Again, the introductory price is 799 bucks at blackstoneproducts.com. Comes with pizza peel and they're shipping immediately. One on sale today. And another thing I keep forgetting, Kim behind the camera, my beautiful wife reminded me, this isn't only for cooking pizza. I always forget that. They call it the pizza oven. But you are going to see us cook everything from steaks in here to baked pasta dishes to lobster to um, scallops, uh, baked goods, things like the skillet cookies. There's all kind of cool things, stromboli, that you can make in the pizza oven. So it is a convection oven. It ha uses radiant heat. It produces an insane amount of heat. It is designed for this to make restaurant style pizzas at your house. But you can certainly make other things. So until next time, this is Todd. Praise the Lord and pass the pizza.